What's your earliest recollection of this this game and the importance of it to you is? Um, well, you know, this is an in-state rival. Georgia Tech has been that way for years, going to continue to be that way. And like I said, this is more of a pride game than anything. You know, you want to pride ourselves on running this state, so we definitely want to come out on top. You guys will study this more and more, but just what's your first impression of quarterback Haynes King and, and what he's doing with that offense this year? Um, that brings a lot of juice, a lot of energy. Um, really, um, I feel like he's definitely turned that program completely around. That was one of the things that Coach Smart said after the win versus Tennessee. Um, he basically just said that this is not the same tech that has been over the years. Um, those guys are coming to play and we're going into their stadium. So it's always going to make fun for a great matchup. And those guys are definitely going to bring it. They're going to give us, our, give us their best shot. Javon, over here. I could be wrong, but I don't think Georgia Tech offered you out of high school. Uh, no. Nah. Does that mean anything to you? I mean, you're a Georgia football player and didn't get offered by Georgia Tech. First of all, you have to be an anomaly. Second of all, do you, do you think about that at all? Uh, I mean, I, a lot of schools didn't offer me that I were offers from. So um, at the end of the day, I'm here now. So none of that, none of that stuff really matters, um, like I said. But I mean, I'd be fool to say, like, you know, certain schools I don't kind of, you know, say have a chip on my shoulder about. But um, I'm, I, I just, at the end of the day, I just want to come out with a W. That's it. Looking forward to see Dominic Blaylock and a uh, chance maybe to sh shut him down and talk a little smack. Yeah, man. Uh, shout out to my boy Dom, man. Uh, we, used to t <laughs> we used to say we make jokes with Dom all the time at practice, man, because Dom was so nonchalant and he was so skilled. Like, <laughs> like we're, me and Taki make jokes all the time. Dom didn't even really care and he'd still be messing you up at practice. Like, just, but, um, like, Dom's a great player, man. I'm, I'm excited to face off him, uh, face off him this weekend. Javon, uh, with Dom there, Brett Scyther, Coach Faulkner there, does that add anything to this rivalry that there's some familiar faces on the other side this year? Um, I don't know if it adds anything, but uh, like I said, it really doesn't matter who's over there. We want to win. Um, you know, so those are our guys. Those are always be our brothers, but at the end of the day, they're a different, time, they're a different team this year, so we're you know, we trying to come out with a victory. It's Coach Smart has gotten to where he's joking about the first score per game, uh, the, the other team score yeah. first and all that. I'm sure that's something you guys would like to change. Uh, but specifically to Tennessee, uh, what was the breakdown on that? And then what have you guys been able to do so well to where it ends there? Uh, In-game adjustments, man. In-game adjustments. You got to uh – like this group is this different, man. You um through the past defenses, man. You got one legendary defense. You got last year we was just felt like underdogs, and then this year it's just like, you know, we don't really know what's going on, especially especially on the first drives. But like I said, we mastered the end game adjustments, man, and like uh, really just stopping. Uh, we I don't think we was in a um, the right play call for the, the thing that they ran. But like I said, um, the guy straight shot, man. He he hit it and he was off to the races, but um. That's something that we got to work on, man. We can't go, we can't do the things that we want to do while giving up our first drive touchdowns. The other long first play. Yeah. Yeah, you're someone who came in with Kamari and obviously know, know him well. This season in particular, where have you seen him sort of come along the most and, and make improvements in himself with the season that he's had? Uh, really just, I mean, the guy comes in to work day in and day out. He, he's one of those guys that loves football. Um, you know, I, I live with him, so we connect on a personal level, man. So, uh, it's just like his attention to detail, the way he does walkthroughs, the, the the way he takes notes. You know what I'm saying? The way he uh, guides the younger players, man. It's, it's it's a true testimony of what really hard work gets you. And he's gonna get everything that he's, you know what I'm saying, works so hard for because the dude just comes in and work day in and day out. And it's a pleasure to play with him. Hey Javon, I feel like uh, a lot of us were in awe of that play that Tyke had, where he ran over the blocker and made that open field tackle. First of all, what was your reaction to that play? Because I feel like that's like a DB's dream, that kind of play. And uh, second part, are you guys taught to strike the block right away when you see a block on the outside like that to either create an opening for you or for someone else on the team? I mean, at the end of the day, you got to do your job. That's what we're taught. You know, what I'm saying, do your job. If you can make the play, make the play. Don't be a robot. Um, but I see Tyke do that on a daily basis. Let me be honest. Uh, <laughs> Uh, all the receivers that tell you nobody want to block Taki. And uh, 
it's just um, the guy comes in and work day in and day out, and he's another player that's having a tremendous year on his defense, and, and it was well deserved because he, he's definitely um, been through a lot, and I'm happy for him. Ron, they haven't had a night game against Georgia at Georgia Tech for a long time. Um, you guys have played them at noon the last couple of years, and then SEC Championship next week. What's it going to be like to, you know, be there at late game and then turn around and have an important week ahead? Uh, I mean, we got to do what we got to do. We don't really control what time we play. They at, what, 7 o'clock, you said? 7.30? Um, that's what time we got to play. And then, you know what I'm saying, after we get done with that game, we're not really worried about the SEC championship right now. We'll get that one, you know what I'm saying, the, the week is there. But like I said, right now, we focused on Georgia Tech at 7.30. We, we got a showcase against them. So we got to do what all, all the preparation this week to get ready for Georgia Tech so we can come up victorious. Brian, I think you had that PBU in the end zone against Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got up and... What was what, where, where where did that move come from, and how much fun are you guys having, and how important is that when you know we talk about streak and pressure, and it looks like you guys are just playing free and easy out there. Uh, that's a little DB thing, man. It's a little seatbelt action, man. But uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, something that we do all around the country, as just DBs as a collective group. But I mean, it's fun, man. This game is fun. It doesn't matter. Like I feel like people put a little too much. Uh, like pressure and well, pressure in a sense, like you know, it's still a game. Like we're we're, we're you know what I'm saying, athletes. We're students. Like we're just doing the playing the game that we love, playing the game that we've been playing since we was five, six years old. Like there's never no. I know for me personally, there's never no pressure. I'm playing a game. I'm doing something that I love to do. You know, so I don't really get into the streaks and things like that. But anytime I step on that field, it's a it's a pleasure. I'm grateful. I show tremendous gratitude. Thank you for the man above for giving me the opportunity to play this game. And anytime I step out there with my brothers, like I bled, I shed tears. I, I bled with those guys. So like you know, anytime I get to step out there with them, it's always gonna be fun. Speaking of uh, doing something that you love, I just want to ask how much you've enjoyed doing the podcasting this year, and uh, like what areas doing that do you think you've grown the most in? Uh, it's fun, man. I always wanted to like. I always, you know, I grew up. Me and my mom uh, grew up watching. Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless. That was some things we did before I got uh, got on the bus in the morning, went to school. Uh, we used to watch Shannon Sharp and Skip, and like that was our little thing, man. So uh, really, just broadcast is always something that, like, especially the podcast, just be open, be yourself. I feel like and the people really don't really get to see our personalities off, you know, what I'm outside our helmet, I shot our shoulder pads and things like that. So that's just another way for me to, you know, say showcase personality along with my brother Jackson. Um, you know, so just really just gives the people something to see outside of football. What have you seen out of Jalen Kilgore this year? I know you guys are good friends. He's balling out at South Carolina. Just his development and just that relationship, you guys both being from around the Middlesbrough area. Well, I talk to him frequently. So, you know, I talk to him here and there, um, especially when we get a chance. Um, I, was, I actually was, I remember he was coming back. I forget what game it was when he caught his first interception um, versus Tennessee, man. I, I was watching it on the bus. And uh, really just, I, I knew he was going to be great from the moment, you know what I'm saying, we, we came out together, man. It's just his work ethic since he was a child, man. Like, uh, he comes from a great family, uh, great brothers. Um, those guys uh, paved the way for him, you know. Um, great, Like I said, great family, great father, um, mother as well, man. Just just knowing the, where he came from, I knew he was going to be special, man. And he's continued to do special things, and I'm proud of him, tremendously proud of him. Got time for two more questions. First, I hope you have a long football career because I don't want you coming from my job. Uh, secondly, with Thanksgiving approaching, just curious what you're thankful for. I'm thankful for everything, man. I'm thankful for this team, this this, this organization. I'm thankful for my family. Uh, thankful to be in front of y'all today, man. I'm, I'm thankful to have breath. I'm thankful for everything, man. Everything that my Lord and Savior has given me, I show tremendous gratitude for. And I can't wait to eat. I can't wait. <laughs> Obviously, the, the joy of the game is going to be part of the answer here, but when Kirby has talked in the past about teams getting complacent and that being the enemy, obviously that's that's not an issue for you, but collectively, how do you think this team has avoided that and stayed on that that hunter mentality? Is it being humbled by the opening drives? Is it knowing there's so much more you can do to get better still? Uh, definitely. I feel like you can get better each and every day at all the things. Even, the, even things that you so-called good at, you definitely can get better at. Um, as far as the team, I mean, I mean, you guys read the news. We've been on upset alerts for I don't know how many weeks now, and we continue to uh, take those punches and keep going, man. So complacency is really not an idea. Now I know I said that before, but like I really believe it. 
and we go out and work day in and day out. We're going to go out there and work today. We're going to work tomorrow. We're going to work Wednesday. So, like, the work is at, and the proof is in the pudding, man. You can't be complacent and be here. It's just that, it just doesn't, you know what I'm saying, correlate like that. It just doesn't happen. So, like I said, we're taking it one game at a time, man. We're looking to dominate any game we go in. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.